Hi, I'm Eric Kaufman, and I'm going to share with you one of the critical tools in developing grit, the third virtue I discuss in my book, The Four Virtues of a Leader. Grit answers the question, what am I sustaining? And it determines how well you overcome setbacks and you achieve your meaningful goals. There's some fascinating research that proves it's not education or connection or intelligence or birthplace. In fact, the greatest predictor of achievement is grit, passion and perseverance towards long-term goals. Maybe you've had an experience like mine when I decided I wanted to lose a few pounds. I was so good in avoiding the donuts in the morning and I didn't eat a chocolate from the candy bowl in the lobby. And I ordered salad with salmon for lunch. But fast forward to around 10 o'clock at night at home and I dove into ice cream and chips. And it turns out that all of us are challenged with self-discipline. And this is an important part of grit, the ability to stay committed when you're tired, when you're frustrated, when you're disappointed. In my book, I show you what weakens your commitment and how to strengthen your resolve and your grit. One of the most important insights to improve your grit is really counterintuitive. Don't do it alone. You're on a hero's journey, and every hero has allies. Luke Skywalker has Han Solo and Yoda. Dorothy in Oz, Toto and the Scarecrow. King Arthur has his Knights of the Round Table. Even the Lone Ranger has Silver and Tonto. The notion that discipline is a solitary practice is ridiculous and unhelpful. Inevitably, your mind will start saying, I can't do it, I'm too weak, I'll do it later, or even what's the point anyway? So be sure to establish a support crew that will encourage and energize you. Part of committing to a meaningful goal is to abandon the foolishness of going it alone. Surround yourself with your Yoda, your Toto, your Knights of the Round Table.